Got an SSD in to test today. This was sent in via the company. It's an Ion Key, if I've pronounced that correctly. It's one of their new solid state drives. I've not heard of this company before, but I thought we'd test it. And just a quick note, it does actually work with Windows 10. Not exactly sure why they haven't put that on the box. So looking at the physical appearance of the drive, it's uh, encased in aluminium with a brushed metal effect. And just a quick look on the underside, there's your tab there for your warranty. So don't remove that and you've got your usual screws, etc. So I will cover some of the specs later on. Um, now, as far as the build goes, it's pretty good. Got no complaints at all. When you've got an aluminium enclosure, it does mean that you'll have better heat dissipation. User guide is, however, pretty basic. It uh, doesn't really tell you anything much other than your three year warranty. Now there's nothing else included with this, so if you need to fit it to a three and a half inch normal hard drive bay, then you can pick up some of these ones that I have. Most newer PC cases will have uh, solid state drive uh, holders, so that shouldn't be an issue. Now when you have the uh, drive fitted to Windows 10 PC, there's your capacity, so it's around 223 formatted. And these are the features from the manufacturer, that's their spec. I will cover a few other areas in a minute and I will be doing a few benchmark tests. So with the SSDZ, it didn't give me too much information, so I got some additional information off the maker and they're using a silicon motion controller and Intel TLC 3D NAND flash, so that's an encouraging sign. Now moving on to the benchmarks, Crystal Dismark did actually very well in most areas on this. The read and write speeds are excellent, I'm quite surprised. Next benchmark test to give you a bit of a mix just so we can see what the performance is. The only thing here is the 4K read speeds not so good, but in other areas really good. And if I compare it to the Record Data, another budget drive which I've looked at, um, it does sort of collapse with the 4K write speed. So the performance of this compared to other budget drives is in most areas very good. Just a couple of small points. Website's not working at the minute. I'd like to see them get that up and running. And apart from that 4K read speed, it's actually a very good performance for a budget solid state drive.